the power of right click. Hi everyone, I'm Leo Notenboom for AskLeo.com where I've been answering questions and doling out tips since 2003. This is a former tip of the day that I wanted to share with you. It's an underappreciated click. Let's have a look. So what we're looking at right now, of course, is the article on which this video is based. But what I want to do is actually show you a couple of interesting things. I'm going to select some of the text here and now I'm going to right click on it. And you can see that the right click menu opens a wide variety of different things. You can see it's opening copy. It's opening a search option. There's a print option. I could read this selection aloud. Um, I can open the page in Edge's Immersive Readers, etc., etc. The important thing to realize about right-click is that it is context-dependent. In fact, the right-click menu is actually called a context menu, since it will differ depending on what you're right-clicking on, uh, what application you're in, and perhaps even what state you happen to be in, what the conditions are at the time you right-click. In this case, it makes sense for there to be a copy and a print and a search and so forth. But other applications, even other browsers in this case, could provide additional information or additional options. Cut, copy and paste are almost always present and it is one of the quickest ways to actually select something and then copy it out somewhere else to your clipboard. The other thing that I wanted to point out is that even if your mouse has no right click button, your keyboard may. This funky looking key on most modern keyboards is in fact the context menu key. It acts as if you had right clicked on something. A lot of people wonder what that keystroke is all about. Well, now you know. It's another way to get right click actions without actually having to use a mouse. It can show up in different places and it can show up a little bit differently. And in fact, it's not always present, but it is present on a wide variety and a large number of keyboards. Right click is one of those things that I really encourage people to experiment with. I'm fired up File Explorer and I'm going to right click on the drive and you'll see that the context menu includes a large number of things that are useful for that drive. If I shift right click on it, however, the menu that comes up is ever so slightly different. The big addition here is this item open PowerShell window here. But it again, because it's a context menu and it depends on the context in which you happen to be at the time you perform the right click, your, your results may vary. It will depend on what's installed, what you're doing, what program you're using. My recommendation, give right click a try then give shift right click a try. You may find that there are some very useful things hidden in the context menu. I hope that was helpful. I'm Leo Notenboom. This is askleo.com. Thanks for watching.